officially over the unadulterated police investigating Kia ora, good evening. Officially over the unadulterated police investigating Kia ora, good evening. Clothes. She looks just like them girls in vogue. I love the way she plays it cool. I think that she is beautiful. Well, um, after the break, I'm not sure what we've got, but we'll have more news for sure. <laughs> she's so lovely, she's so lovely, she's so lovely, she's so lovely. It may be trashy, it may be tacky, but an estimated 90,000 Aucklanders turned out to watch this year's Boobs on Bikes parade. In breaking news this hour, intrepid reporter Bob McNeil is... Hey, that's, that's not breaking news. What? He's been here for 20 years. Everyone knows that. He's oh, been here forever. Yeah. yeah. OK. Yeah. In very slow-moving news yep. this evening, Bob McNeil has been here for 20 years. Stop it. <laughs> It's private. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> uh, yes, there's even more rain in Tony's forecast coming up next. Thanks, Tony. After the break, uh, that is today's News on 3. I'm Hunter Barry. After the break, it's John Campbell. Yeah. yeah, now it's Campbell Life. Thanks very much, Mike. First, it was Jesus' face on a piece of toast, then a feed jar that looked like a kiwi. But you haven't seen it all unless you witness the apple with its own map of New Zealand. Mixed in with thousands... Stop looking at me like that, John. <laughs> I'm riveted. I've got to get through this. Go, Hillary. Mixed in with thousands of others, Go. the Braeburn apple almost went unnoticed until a fruit... But why do I have to read all these? Fruit packer spotted its very special blemish. <laughs> Laura, <laughs> Laura Turner has more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I thought we were done. Yeah. It's just edging into a little bit of a relief, I think. The uh, Lindau is flowing a little bit more freely as we see that lead open over Paul Goldsmith, the national candidate. Uh, speaking to people during the day... This appears to be Tripoli, and we saw a port before. So a Christchurch woman has gone to extraordinary lengths to save her port That clearly wasn't her, though. I think she was very cross. Two, uh, two other news now. I think this is my one. Would you like to do it? Sure. To other news now. Businesses. On oh, me. Oh, we're all, OK. Sorry, I'm confused by that monitor. Businesses in a Wellington suburb say they're stuck in the middle of commercial warfare between the two major supermarket companies. Stay safe. Take care. Mike and Hillary. Sorry. Make the Hamish and Hillary. It's OK. That's, don't worry. We forgive you. I'm just a felon. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're more like don't that to that. us. Oh, you're so much oh, more thanks. special. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, a summary of the top stories this hour. Good on you, Hamish. Uh, off you go, Mike. Can you read that for me? I don't know where he's gone. I'll tell you where he's gone. Friday drinks. I know. He never. <laughs> this is a true story. He never came back. He went upstairs to get I'll a glass of what, wine. But <laughs> ain't the villain handsome? No, you're so good. <laughs> Do you want to read that? Uh, Auckland dodged thunderstorms this afternoon. <laughs> but what about the rest of the country? And the weekend, Hillary. Mike has details next. The 80-year-old pensioner who ruined a priceless fresco at a Spanish church has complained to reporters that the criticism is very unfair because she hadn't finished it yet. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Art restorers say it may never be possible to undo her work. ITV's Nina Nana reports. The rise of the selfie on, shallow, oh, on social media. <laughs> Freudian slip there. Wow. It's going to, don't look at it. Don't look at it like that. Start again. Shallow right, media. the rise of the selfie on social media has claimed an unlikely casualty. Me. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Just say good night. Just say good night. <laughs> and I'm Mike McRobertson. Now it's Campbell Live. Another bank has announced a bumper result. See, we do use the hard copy sometimes. Westpac New Zealand's arm made more than $850 million. And not forgetting the Hamish Mackay pat on the back. <laughs> good on you. Have a good night, mate. Lucky. Coming up, three weather and Ingrid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that. You're oh, awesome. You are okay. being terrible, Muriel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was dropping things all the show. Okay, oh, thanks, dear, Jim. No, uh, thank you, Jim. Seriously, thank I've you. I've just looked at what's on your page there. That's, <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. I was nothing. All right. She, she's just it looking. popped up. <laughs> just looking at your porn. <laughs> From your bed to your bathroom, your couch to your car, this is Paul Henry.
stop it, Paul. A Dunedin City Council has done away with a local alcohol policy that caused outrage. Spokesman Simon Pickford says they've scrapped a 1am one-way-door poli one policy. And that it would... Da -da -da. Sometimes there's just too much information in a sentence, I've liked. Of course we'd go there. Look. Wow. Mm. Why are you unbuttoning your top, Hillary? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I did not unbutton it. It was pulling back from anyway, my earpiece okay. oh, and sorry. I was now pulling it down sorry, like Hillary. this. Now sorry. Wonderful animals. Ooh. Fixing it. Um, okay, so anyway, the reason I'm saying this is that people for years and years st sit there and... <laughs> Don't cut back to me. That you were not meant to cut back to me. She really was unbuttoning the oh, top. Oh, no way. <laughs> and I don't mind director. saying, Hillary. No, I don't mind saying. Kyle, that's very cut nice. to another camera shot very now. Very nice. Now. <laughs> Carry on, Blushing. <laughs> or are you just pleased to see me? And Hillary, that's it from here for the time being. Mike, thank you. And Hillary, that's it from here for the time being. Thanks, Mike. Coming up at 6.30, there are fears Kiwi brides married to jihadi extremists could bring terror to New Zealand. Oscar Pretorius is attached to an electronic bracelet as he awaits sentencing for murder. Oh, and coming up, free weather. <laughs> <laughs> Ingrid, some full moon fever in Wellington. Back to you, Hilary and Simon. Thank you so much, Ingrid. Our director just said we've got a little bit of time to fill, so um, have a good weekend, yeah, Simon. Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. everybody has a lovely weekend. How much time to go, Kyle? We... Uh, any more to fill, <laughs> or is that is that all good? <laughs> Ten seconds to go. Okay, that's today's news on three. I'm Simon Shepherd, and I'm Hilary Barry. Good, good evening. evening.